So with these stock handlebars, um, one thing right off the bat, they're too low. <laughs> they're too low. I'm not even that tall. I'm about 5'10". I do have a very long um, reach. When I boxed, I did have the about equivalent reach of some of the 6'2 or 6'3. So that might constitute why, that may be one of the reasons why these uh, bars just feel way too low for me. I mean, you can see I have very long arms. I can easily reach the screen even when I'm sitting fully back. But these do not feel good. My shoulders get tired. My hands get tired. Um, so I definitely cannot wait to get into the um, into the uh, Factory 47 Legacy bars. They're going to be they're 14 inch. So really excited about that. And I'm sure it's going to feel a lot better than these. These are too low and too close to me. They just do not feel good. And um, they look good. I, I like the color. They're nice and thick already. Um, so they look good, but once um, we get into those legacy bars that, I, that I'm getting put on, um, I'm sure it's going to look even better and definitely feel better. So that's what I'm looking forward to here. So um, one of the things here, even though I'm, I have to sit fully back and my arms still aren't, I'm pretty much on the passenger, I'm pretty much on the passenger seat and my arms still aren't fully extended and it just does not feel good. So I did about... Um, I did about 600-ish miles over the weekend, and um, it just didn't feel good the whole time. Um, I was trying to find ways to, with my shoulder getting sore and my hands getting fatigued, uh, I was trying to find different ways by sitting a little bit back on the passenger pillion or the passenger part of my seat um, to try and mitigate how uncomfortable these bars are. So. I did put a lot of miles on these bars. I had four miles on this bike when I bought it. I now have 1,144. So I put 1,100, you know, and 40 miles on these bars and um, in, a, in a week. <laughs> and I've come to the conclusion that I definitely need to um, get new bars. So when we go into that, hopefully um, that'll be really good. And um, so I'll be comparing this to those bars. Um, in one video, so that's going to be uh, hopefully a really good video. And I've just read phenomenal things about Factory 47. I know some people who swear by Factory 47 as like the gold standard for handlebars, especially for the touring lineup of Harley. So really looking forward to that. And um, I cannot wait to get those put on. So these bars look great. I am just overly, overly pleased with them. Um, I am so happy with these overstock. I've already put um, about 800 miles on them, and they're just they're just great. They're just great bars. They look great. They feel great. Um, there's definitely um, no reason. I think 100%. If you get the Road Glide, first thing you got to do. First thing you gotta do is um, uh, change out the bars. Those stock bars, they didn't even feel good. Um, if, after I get my helmet set up here in a little bit, I will um, hop on the bars on the bike here and kind of just show you the position of my hands now. It just, it feels really good. So just looking at them, they just, they just look like great bars. They're just good looking bars from the front they're much more noticeable um, they're a lot thicker here they just aesthetically look better and now instead of my hands being here where my shoulder was getting tight my hands get a little bit numb I get nice good reach right here so I'm about 5'10 5 5'11 5 so I'm not I'm not tall um, I do have pretty long arms, so I do have like oddly long arms, like I can scratch my knee standing up. But I think even if you have average length arms, um, these bars just in general um, are, are better than the uh, stock bars. Maybe go with 12s. If you think your arms are a bit short, go with 12 inches instead of the 14, but I think these are um, a perfect height in terms of um, where, you want, where you want it to be in ratio to where your shoulders are. So my shoulders are pretty much right in line now with the length of my arms rather than kind of being hunched down like they were before over here 
so um, to me it's definitely uh, worth it all right let's take it out ride it around a little bit through some parking lots a little bit through the neighborhood and I'll give you more of my thoughts on the bars all right One weird thing about um, riding this, especially after riding my street bob, is how heavy this clutch lever is. Um, I had to get a new clutch cable for these bars, and I don't know if that affected the uh, how heavy this clutch feels, but it feels a lot heavier. Maybe it's just where, it, where it's placed, but it's not a bad thing. Um, I just have to get used to it after getting off of the street bob. I've been riding the street bob for the past few days. Um, like you saw, I just made that video of riding in the cold. I made that in between making this video I'm finishing off the review on this video but yeah so bars these feel great they're still very easy to handle like if I need to kind of just go here just push a little bit on the left handle bar easy easy even at full lock I still have a really good grip on the bars no issues at all no issues at all getting a full grip on the bars um, it's not bad at all Um, it's just infinitely more comfortable than the stock bars. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's kind of, if you, if you have a road glide down and you think your bars are slightly uncomfortable, I can guarantee you they are because they were slightly uncomfortable for me until I got these bars and I realized they weren't just slightly uncomfortable. They were terribly uncomfortable, those stock bars, compared to this. Um, I didn't lose any handling going on higher bars like this. I feel like if anything, I handle a little bit better. Um, very responsive on corners like this like if I'm taking this corner right here very responsive to just get the bike to go no issues with it I think it's um, it's just a world's better upgrade so if getting a new road glide and you don't want to just go right off the bat with a stage 4 a million different mods right off the bat if you're just going to do a few things at a time I'd say top things, number one, bars, number two, the slip-ons, which are the two things I did. I had a sundowner seat, don't like the look of it, so I'm keeping the stock seat on here, but it's almost just as comfortable, but if you're going to change the seat out, I think changing the seat out is an, another good upgrade. I wear a full face helmet, and I feel no need to upgrade the speakers. So I wouldn't even go for a speaker upgrade if that's something um, you're thinking about because you wear a full face helmet or something. I wear a full face helmet with earplugs in. I can hear my speakers just fine. Like it actually sounds better than the music inside my helmet. So I don't think speakers are a uh, necessary upgrade right off the bat. The quality is a bit low compared to, um, of course, it's like a car speaker or something. You're not going to get that kind of quality. I bet if you do like all the upgrades on your speakers and everything, maybe. but. So even making this turn, I'll, I'll take it a little bit slow so I can kind of get a turn on the bar. It's super easy to just turn these bars and get it to do what you want it to do. Very easy to handle this bike with, with these 14 inch um, legacy bars from Factory 47. Let me turn into this parking lot a little bit, see if I can get a couple um, turns in with the bars turned so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I still have not practiced a lot of U-turns on this bike, so I'm not the greatest on it. It's not like I'm getting more comfortable on my street bob, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm still I'm still pretty bad on my street bob in terms of getting the bike to turn. But all right, so let's see what it feels like. Just kind of making a slow speed right turn here. I'll have to turn the bars a little bit to the right. No issues at all. Feels really good feels really good. I think um, if you're thinking about upgrading to the bars, I think I am a new Factory 47 fan. So I think from now on, these are the bars I'm getting for any of the bikes I get. Um, on the Street Bob, I'm actually loving the stock. Um, I'm loving the stock, um, what's it called? The stock Mini Apes that, that Harley puts on there. But um, for these, I think they look great. They're just, it's just a good looking bike. Let me, let me see if I can get it parked and we can do a little walk around of the bike a little bit. Another weird thing about the Rogue Glide, I have a lot harder time finding neutral on this bike when the engine's running. If I cut the engine, it's a lot easier, but I think it's a good look. Hopefully, I'm getting a good angle of it. 
even while walking around it with my GoPro over here. So it's a good looking bike and the bars just top it off a little bit more. A little bit dirty on the inside there and clean that up a little bit when I get back to the house. These are the slip-ons I put on. I'll do a little bit more on those later. It's RC components, um, four inch lash ups. Um, eventually gonna do head pipe, buy new air cleaner, probably get a torque cam in it, kind of go all out with this bike. But I, I, I think if specifically if you're thinking about getting these bars, it is the way to go. Spider webs. It's the way to go. Um, I think this thickness of it is just like a meaty looking moor. It feels really good. All right, y'all. Well, I really hope that this this uh, comparison between the stock bars and these bars were helpful. Um, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a like on this video. Leave a comment. I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, and have a blessed day, y'all. Thank you.